Good morning. We're here out of Keystone Campus in Goshen, Indiana to give you a sneak peek of some of the new 2022s. So we pulled a bunch of units over where we could take some videos and meet some of the people behind the units that we're building. And right now we're standing in a brand new 2022 Passport 34. 01 yep. QD. So a lot of you will remember that in 2020, we introduced a brand new model, the Passport 3400 QD, and it was a huge success. The back bunk room had double over double queen beds that were kind of mind blowing. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And so um, this, this floor plan has been so popular, the product development team brought it back in house and made some additional refinements. And I think, I think we're gonna be able to show these folks some pretty cool things, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. so if you know Passport, Passport is an ultra lightweight travel trailer brand here at Keystone. They're known as a Swiss army knife of uh, lightweight RVs. And, and the reason why we call them the Swiss army knife of lightweight RVs is they're super flexible and they have tons of storage and they're camp ready jacob tells me they are they are <laughs> so i'm gonna have jacob kind of walk us around the kitchen and show us some of the features of this new passport 3401 qd can you tell me the length and the weight of this one yeah so the overall tip to tip length is 38 feet 8 inches and it weighs about 77 to 7800 pounds okay so super yeah. towable like all the passway absolutely so what's new for the, the 3401 what we've did we redesigned our kitchen from the old 3400 um, and all the, our kitchen has a wraparound countertop that is very similar to all of our other models with Passport. So um, it just gains a lot of space in our bathroom. Yeah. So there was a couple things that we had to readjust, like you had mentioned, uh, with the thirty-four, the old 3400. And that was our, our, our pinch point going into that back bedroom right. and also the bathroom. Yeah. So now we have a larger bathroom. So we have more storage in the bathroom and we have more storage throughout the, the uh, kitchen and living area in the 3401. And no pinch point getting into And the, no pinch point going into that back yeah. bedroom. We'll show you the bathroom in a second, but first you need to see the storage. Emily, I don't know if you can back up a little bit. Passport has is unbelievable in how they've outfitted their cabinetry. And, and Jacob and I counted, so stay with us. This um, this particular rig has, what we say, 23 drawers. 23 drawers, 24 uh, doors. 24 doors. So this cabinet on the on the uh, door side of the island has been, I think you'll see this in a lot of passports, it's yep. super useful. And then Emily, if you want to pivot around, we can show folks this, this uh, pantry right when you walk in, this coat closet, I guess. So great place when you're coming in to store coats, gear, you know, lanterns, s'more stuff, right when you walk into the unit, shoes. Absolutely. You know, it, so we have two of these areas, one here, one on the other side, and those are just extra pantry space. So with Passport, every Passport from 18 feet to 40 feet is gonna come with a pantry, okay? No other brand can say that, okay? With our storage uh, throughout our, all of our Passport lineup is just absolutely amazing. You won't see it with anybody else. And then we have our big U-shaped dinette that also uh, turns into a bed. And also like everybody else, everybody's got doors on the dinettes, but what separates us is actually Ours has actually got a actual door instead of just a door. And that's on both sides. And they're huge. And they're, they're, they're so the, the length of the, the seating area. Yeah, so that's, so a, that's a huge deal. Also, um, we have our trifold uh, that also sleeps too, folds out to a queen bed. So this mm -hmm. unit, again, like I said earlier, sleeps 14 people. So um, it's it's pretty amazing. So if you got two families, or you got a big family, or you know you got kids that have friends that come with them, this is the perfect unit for yeah, them. Yeah, I think you can sleep the whole neighborhood. Yeah, Actually, absolutely. Actually, you can sleep a whole neighborhood of adults. You could take yeah. 14 friends. Yeah, every passport has a standard queen bed. So what that gives the customer is that um, everybody hates an RV mattress. Okay, so what we do is. Um, we don't give we give flexibility to the customer that they can go to any furniture store around them and buy a regular queen mattress and it'll fit in their RV. Also, what we've do is uh, what we did this year is we've added a drawer on uh, the side bed over here, um, and also the tables on both sides so you can fit a sleep app machine or a phone or a tablet or or a fan or whatever whatever the customer wants. We give the customer the flex flexibility to do so. Okay, let's go back and show the big improvements. 
So this bathroom is awesome for two reasons that I'll let you explain. Yeah, so um, what's different about this bath uh, bathroom this year is actually, so it's longer, so it gives the customer uh, more space in the bathroom. It's got a stand-up shower, so all passwords, we eliminated the bathtub, and now every single password um, has a stand-up shower. You've got extra um, drawers and uh, cabinet area for your towels, your linens, you know, whatever you, you need to use it for. Also, you've got a nice medicine cabinet. Also, what's also new for the 3401 is a second entrance into the bathroom. Um, and the old 3400, it was in the very back and it was just, um, you know, people didn't really care for it that much because it, the coach is already long enough. So you'd have to have a bigger RV spot. So we're giving, again, flexibility to the customer that they don't have to have a 50 foot spot at an RV park to fit this unit on. All right, so here we are in the famous Passport Quad Bunk four queen size beds yep. or double over double. It's double over double. Yeah. Yep. Four double over double beds, which means grownups can sleep comfortably. Kids can sleep very comfortably. Absolutely. But this is a very different bunk experience than we see in a lot of our a lot of RV bunk houses, right? Yes. So the th the 3401 with the four double beds, um, no other manufacturer has a floor plan like this. So um, when we came out with this, you know, we didn't know if it was going to be a, a, a hot seller or, or if it was just gonna fail. It did so well <laughs> that we had to do the adjustments and bring it back for 2022. So um, in the double beds, on every double bed area, you're gonna get a USB port so your kids can charge their phones, their tablets. Um, everyone's gonna have a light and also every single area is also gonna have ventilation with a window. Super nice, so, a window that opens. Yes, a window that opens, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. So I think we, we not only saw this as really popular with families, but, but with um, young couples who wanted to take friends along, multi-generational families who want to bring grandma and grandpa, cousins, you know, maybe two or three families who, if you own the camper, you can bring all your friends to come camp with you. It was, it far surpassed our expectations. Absolutely. With um, who would buy and who would want this camper. So I'm thrilled that we're bringing it back out. Yeah, we are, we are absolutely thrilled and our dealers are absolutely thrilled. They've been waiting on it for, you know, since we came out with it. So good. We're, we're just super excited. Good, good, good. So. Okay, show me this this amazing bank of walls. Yes, yeah, so again, you have plenty of storage uh, in this area for everybody that wants to sleep back here. So, I mean, again, t uh, absolutely a ton. Uh, big TVs all throughout the coaches on this one. Um, it's like every person could have their own little yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, segment of It's crazy. Storage. So it's, I mean, we just have so much storage back here. They can, I mean, truly, even the people that are sleeping out there can store their stuff oh, yeah. in this area. So Absolutely. it's just, it's amazing. And uh, I think it's it's uh, too much storage, but too much storage is just not enough. Exactly. Yeah. In the very best way. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would rather have too much storage than not enough. Yeah. Yeah, so. you showed me a ton of storage inside, what we say, 24 cabinet doors, 23 cabinet drawers, space to sleep 14 grown-up people. Yep. But there's also more storage outside too. Absolutely, yeah? absolutely. So with every passport, if it's 18 feet or 40 feet, they all have the same pass-through storage, okay? It's 45 cubic feet of storage, okay? And in every passport, okay? That's a is lot. a big amount. The reason how we can get that is because we have the same front end bedroom setup in every floor plan. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. So for every floor plan, the front area is exactly the same. That's how we're able to keep that amount of storage in there. Cool. So I noticed you've got a convenience center. Have you always had that? No. So uh, we, we came out with it last year. Yeah. So this is more of a fifth wheel style uh, convenience yeah, center. Yeah, that's what so, I So um, again, we're giving the, the customer so much more in a passport. So you're getting your fresh water connection, your city water, uh, you know, you got your outside spray, you got a uh, uh, satellite prep which oh, is yeah. amazing, Yeah. okay? And also you got the key TV. We'll get into key TV in a little bit, um, but it's just, it's awesome. Um, so you don't have to hunt around your coach to figure out where all of your connections are. They're all right here. Nope, they're, they're all right here and in one all place. Labeled, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, they're all labeled. Um, also, um, your buttons for your jacks, your power jacks are inside, okay? So that's different from every other manufacturer out there. Uh -huh. A lot of people that have the power stabs have them out here. Uh -huh. The problem is with that is if you get a tire blowout or something like that, um, you will end up losing the skirting. You could pull the wiring. It just costs right. the customer a lot more money. Also, the buttons see the element, the sun, the rain, the hail, um, and you know all the weathers. Okay, it just 
it's better for the customer and it lasts a lot longer yeah. if they're inside Much and away from the element. Yep. Uh, key TV is really huge for our price point. Uh, not they, nobody else can have that for one. It's a Keystone exclusive That's item. That's right. But what it does for the customer, it eliminates all splitters in the whole coach. So mm -hmm. the customer gets better um, reception That's if right. they go to a park and you know because every splitter you take away half the the power. Mm -hmm. Okay. So eliminating all of that saves the customer a lot of problems. What's funny is there were two two big customer headaches that always came into customer service. One of them was. I can't make my TV work, right? Yep. And the other one was, my AC isn't working like I expected it to. And and Keystone first came out with Key TV to make television operation like completely seamless and eliminate a lot of the, the historical problems with, yep. with television operation. And then last year, or earlier this year, we introduced Blade, which eliminates all of that um, duct tape or a lot of the duct tape and the failure points in the AC systems and yep. increased our airflow by 30%, it's, I think? It, yep, it's 30%. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and you guys have that too. Yeah, we have the new blade system as yeah. well, just like them, yep. That's what's great about Keystone is we take these these common, you know, common problems that we've just accepted for a really long time and figure out how to fix them, and we do, and then we put it across every coach we manufacture. Okay. Speaking of crazy innovation you don't see at this price point, there's something new on this passport. Actually, there's something new on every passport this year. Do you want to tell me about it? You're talking about the composite flooring? Oh, I'm not, but well, you can talk about okay, that. Okay, <laughs> okay. So yeah, so um, now it's actually been about a year and a half, two oh, years. Oh, I can't believe uh, you about, forgot this. I know, about the, our composite flooring. Yeah. So it's it's actually really awesome. With our price point, you're right, you don't see it. Mm -mm. Okay, so at our price point, all the floors are really gonna be wood. Okay, what we did is, you know, again, it started at the top and kind of working its way down and mm -hmm. we, we got it because of our buying power mm -hmm. um, is, is that composite flooring. And what it's pretty much doing, it has no wood throughout our floor. So if a customer has, has ever her, um, owned an RV or knows, knows somebody that does own an RV, everybody's had a water leak. Okay, yeah. shoot, if you own a, a house, if. if you own a house, you've had a water leak right. once or twice. Right. So, but what that's going to give the customer is the assurance that they're not going to have mold soft spots throughout their coach yeah because it's just it's our floor is uh is, is absolutely it's, amazing it's non-organic we call it hyperdeck yep um it's not only doesn't include any any organic materials woods that will take up water um it's more rigid all the way through absolutely and it's lighter weight Plus, i mean there's there's no downsides to hyperdeck it's an it's an incredible it, it, it's floor. awesome so yes you have hyperdeck but there's also something else new for 2022 Yes, we actually have the, our new SolarFlex uh, system on every passport. Yeah. So it, our standard is a, our 200 system. Right. Okay. And it's actually really awesome. It's got a 200 watt solar panel, a 15 amp solar charger. Okay. And it's also already prepped for an inverter. Right. Which is awesome. So there are 200 watts of solar on the roof with another port. If you wanted to expand that, you could put another 200 watt panel on. You could put two 300 watt panels on. Um, you've got your, your charge controller, which you said is 15 amp on, on yep. the 200. Yep. And then the inverted loop is already in place. So all your 110 outlets, they're wired to work if you want to add an inverted, an inverter to the system. Without the inverter, all your 12 volt systems still work though. Exactly what it is, it's solar flex. It gives the customer the flexibility to do what it, really whatever they want. If they want to upgrade, they want to do this, they want to add that, they can. They don't have to worry about, oh, well, I'm stuck with this system. Maybe I'm gonna have to go buy another system. Nope, yeah. it gives the, the customer the flexibility to, to do whatever they want and upgrade to whatever they wanna yeah. do. Passport is offering the 200, SolarFlex 200 standard, but I think you also offer the 400i package. Absolutely we do. Right? Yep. And that adds the inverter. So yep. all of your um, 110 A 2000 watt inverter. A 2000 watt inverter. Yep. So all of your 110, your, the seven, uh, outlets on that circuit will work to run blenders or Xbox or whatever else. That's exactly it. Yeah. This is, you just kicked it up 10 notches. I bet you're really excited to take it out. Oh yeah, we are We are absolutely amazing and we can't wait for it to get out there. So you are in production with this model now? Uh, soon. Soon? Soon. And be shipping yep. by the end of the year? Hopefully, All hopefully, right. hopefully. <laughs> that's, that's our hope at least. All right, well stay in touch with our Passport dealers. They're really easy to find. If you go to the dealer finder on our website, you can type in your um, zip code and you'll find the closest Passport dealers to you. And um, you keep in touch with them and we'll get these, these new models out to you just as soon as we can. All right, thanks Jacob for joining me today. This has been really fun. 
Thank you for uh, letting me be here. Yeah, congratulations on a, on a really cool model. Thank you.